So for our next problem, we're given that Hope kicks a soccer ball and it travels horizontally 85 feet, and at its highest point it reaches 30 feet, and they want us to write an equation for this. Well, we can see from the drawing right here that I've already put the soccer ball, I've labeled my dimensions. Now we need to actually translate this into a coordinate grid. So I'm going to transfer to green and say, well, I'm going to put my origin right here, right smack dab in the middle. So that would mean that this point right here, which is halfway, is the vertex. Now remember, your vertex is h and k for a parabola. Because it's directly above this origin that I just put here, that means that the h value is going to be 0. So I can say that this h value is 0, and then k is directly up, and that's the full length of this 30. So we now know that h is 0 and k is 30. If I come over here to the soccer ball, right here, in green, I know that this is going to be a height of 0 because it's on the ground. But the question is, is how far is it away from this particular origin? So I can say, well, if the entire red line is 85, this blue part right here is just going to be, ooh, let me change to a smaller marker there. This is just going to be that 85 divided in half, because what I just colored in was half of the line. So let's see here. This is going to be 85 divided by 2. That is going to be 42.5. So this coordinate right here is 42.5. Great. Now here's what that tells me. That tells me that I know an x and a y that are on this parabola. Why is that important? Hmm. I know that all parabolas that look like they're upside down are going to have some type of equation that says y equals a, and it's going to be negative because it's upside down, and then it's going to say x minus h squared plus k. Well, remember, we already found out that h was 0 and k is 30. So if I just rewrite this, I can see that this is y equals negative a x. Wait a minute, this was a 0. Minus 0, well, that's just going to leave me with x, so I can just leave this as squared plus k. Wait a minute. We just found out that k was really the number 30. So from here, what I have to recall is that this x and this y that are over here in the 42.5 and the 0 can get plugged in. So now I can say, OK, well, <clears throat> if I take these and plug these in, this is going to turn into 0 for y is equal to negative a times 42.5 squared plus 30. And then you would need to solve this equation for a. I'm not going to do that in this video for you. That is something that you'll have to pick up and ask questions about if you need assistance, but I'm always ready to help you if you have any questions.